Hey everybody, it's Becky here with video 26 and I actually am recording this the same day I recorded video 25 because I kind of went on a YouTube uh, hunt. I was looking for a video and it found another video for me and it reminded me of something else that I do and I was like, oh my gosh, that would really work right now. So, hey, so the video 26 for you guys um, and something that I love, I um have challenged students in the past with taking a fairy tale or a former story, it could be anything, right? Um, it's really interesting if, depending on the culture you're in, to get their folk tales from different um, cultures and backgrounds, right? So really open that up to students um, because we have students from everywhere. Even if you're not in South Korea, your students are probably um, from different places and have different folk stories in their backgrounds. So you ask them for that uh, story and then you give them the challenge of trying to shake spirit up. Now this is clearly a lesson for some of your higher kids, meaning that um, I, I don't know that sixth grade, um, they probably could do it depending, but if you haven't talked about Shakespeare at all, that, that might not work. But what you do um, is you show John Branion's The Three Little Pigs and I will link the video into the comments. Oh my gosh, it's such a funny, like I love it. Um, it's a great piece. I actually, my son competed with it um, in forensics and uh, here in Korea, just a really, really funny piece. But um, it Shakespeare's up the three little pigs. And this is a great launching point for students to then try to Shakespeare up if they can and really play with the language um, of a common folk story that they have or a short story. Now, of course, this will be just a lot of these and those um, that your students get, but it is pretty interesting and it really gets them diving in with the language of Shakespeare, which I think when teaching Shakespeare is so important that they can connect to it and realize that it, it really is the language, you know, of man, right? And that it, it isn't as it seems so difficult, but once you dive in, it begins to make more sense. So anyway, I hope that that's just a fun lesson for you guys. Definitely for some older kids or some higher level kids. Oh, you just heard a little Korean. That was my little Roomba. Um, yay. So anyway, I hope that that helps you guys today. If nothing else, the video is super funny and definitely worth a watch, even if you don't want to teach the lesson. Have a great one and I'll see you next time.